Hey guys, well today I am doing my Nordstrom anniversary sale try on. Uh, it has taken me a bit to get some of my things. Um, orders were delayed, that's why the video is up a little late, but at least it'll be up before public access, which actually starts Wednesday the 19th. So you should be seeing this the day before. Um, so I'm just going to do a casual try on, tell you my thoughts on things, what worked, what didn't. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I've been sharing some things there that I tried on in the dressing room at a store. Um, I was able to get a few things there. Um, of course they had less inventory this year, but that's to be expected. But I kind of like that. I like that the sale didn't feel overwhelming this year, at least to me. You know, I wasn't searching through just pages and pages of things on the website. So every year, you know, I do like to grab a few things, show you how things work. I do have a lot of things from years past though, so that's why you won't hear me mention um, maybe some specific items like Barefoot Dreams or whatever. Um, I will link the playlist below with all my Nordstrom anniversary. So if you wanna go back to years past, see what I recommend, what I purchase. Of course, it's always great to stock up on, you know, expensive brands things like that. So anyway, if you're shopping the sale, hopefully you find this helpful and definitely follow me on Instagram because I try to post when there are restocks. Like I've also, um, I've already posted, you know, restocks of some coats and things like that. So I just have on a basic white t-shirt today. Um, I always wear this when I go into the store for try-ons every year because it's just easy to put things over it and it kind of goes with everything. So just basic white t-shirt. Um, I think this is from Target, but I wanted to show you these jeans and the shoes. These jeans are gray. They're from Wit and Wisdom. You guys know I have some other things from Wit and Wisdom from years ago. Remember the colored denim? I think they changed the name of them to pants at some point. They weren't denim, but I have like the pink, I have the tan, I have the dark gray, and then I have a green color. Love those. Personally, I've never been a big fan of Wit & Wisdom actual jeans, the denim, but they are in the sale, so if you wanna check them out, please do. These, to me, were more similar to the actual pants. Um, they do run true to size. They have, you know, functioning pockets. Um, I feel like these fit like the pants that I've always shown. Maybe slightly more denim feel, but they do have some stretch to them. Um, they go up kind of high on the waist, but not too high. And a good length. I'm 5'5", five five, so this is a perfect ankle length. And it's just a nice gray color. I'm really into like a faded black denim or gray. So let's talk about these shoes. These are Sam Elman, um, but I really, I'm not caring for them because when I walk, they feel like they flop up and down my feet too much. Like there's not enough support, um, I don't know, like down in the front. So here's a look at them up close. And this is what I mean by like, there's just not enough here. It feels like they're not gonna stay on my foot. Other than that, they're very comfortable. Um, I'm in a size seven. There's no way, my heel goes kind of right to the end, but there's no way I could have sized up a half. They would definitely be too big because they already feel, kind of big. If you have a narrow foot, these probably are not going to work for you. They're just going to be way too big. But I do think they're nice looking. So anyway, I just wanted to get those out of the way. I'll definitely be sending these back. All right. I wish I could tell you that I didn't like this coat, but I do. It is definitely a splurge. Um, it is so nice. It has sold out a couple times in the sale. It came back fully stocked. Uh, I let you guys know on Instagram and then it went back out again. So I hope it comes back for public access. I am wearing a size small. Um, it fits great under the arms. It is so nice. I love the color. I love a nice wrap coat anyway. Um, I love the length. The sleeves are a little long, but that is normal for a coat on me. And what I typically do is have to roll them under or get them altered. So it has a nice, you know, tie waist, no buttons or anything. Really nice pockets. Again, this is a splurge, but it is 50% off, I think. Now, the regular price is like $600. Do I think this is a $600 coat? No. I was just so curious about it that I wanted to order it, and I thought, you know, for $2.99, I might consider it. And it was funny when I asked my husband yesterday, um, when it finally came, I was like, you know, what do you think of this coat? He's like, well, I don't want to tell you that I like it. So anyway, I am keeping this because it's nice. It is a cashmere wool blend. Uh, this is what it looks like just open. 
So again, open, just really nice. I love the collar. I've been looking for something like this for years. Um, so just really, really love this coat. They do have one size smaller, I think, and I think it goes all the way up to extra large. So let's talk these boots. These are this year's version of the Vince Camuto that were very popular last year that I said I kind of wish I would have gotten and I didn't. Um, I left the jeans just down so you could see that, you know, it kind of messes with them a little. And these are the lowest the, of the boots I tried. I'll tell you about some other ones here in a minute. But lowest on the ankle. So you can imagine other ones came up higher than and I would have had to really mess around with my denim. So anyway, I these need to be like folded up probably a little bit. They have a zip on the back. Um, they're very comfortable. They are true to size, but um, they need to be stretched out a bit. I'll say that. I was afraid to size up a half because I thought if they once they stretch out and I start wearing them more, they would be too big. However, if you want to wear like thicker socks or something with it, like a thicker footy, size up. Um, but these are my true size. And they come in a few different colors. Um, other popular ones in the sale are Mark Fisher. I'll give you a closer look here are Mark Fisher and I really liked those. However, um, those came up so high on my ankle and I even had like a cropped jean on that day. They looked ridiculous. So um, it's one of those, the Mark Fisher are the popular ones this year and I actually loved the color, but I feel like if you have shorter legs or thicker calves, they're just gonna be too high. Like you're always gonna have to mess around with your jeans unless you're gonna wear them with dresses all the time. All right, so one last look at the coat. Again, just very pretty. Love this coat. So nice. All right, showing you another coat. I actually shared this on Instagram because I bought this in store. Um, so shared it there in the dressing room. I'll pop that picture in here. This is a size small. It does come in an extra small, which I probably could have worn, honestly, but I'm always wondering about layering and how it feels under the arms. There are two uh, little hook closures right here. So right here and here. So it will hook close. It does have pockets. And this thing is just so cozy. Uh, I don't know why. I, I sit there and debated whether to purchase this or not. Uh, here's the sleeve length on me again. This is a size small. I went back and forth. Yes, I do live in the south, but it does get cold here once in a while. And I have a thing with coats. Coats and jackets. I love them. Um, I don't know. There was just something about that I felt like I would regret it if I didn't get it. Um, I don't know how much use I'll get out of it, but it is kind of a classic. And so I wanted to get it for that reason. Now, it's 50% off, so it's normally $199. Again, I don't think this is... $199 coat. So definitely get it in the sale if you're wanting it. Uh, it has been a bestseller for me and it keeps going in and out of stock. So again, uh, hopefully they'll restock, but this one has been very popular. It is a very nice one. I really love the color. And I wanted to show you the jeans that I cuffed them a little bit. So these jeans, you can see they're light on the underneath side. So if that's gonna bother you or not, just something to consider because I definitely needed to cuff them a little so they didn't look ridiculous. So this is the second and only coat that I purchased. I will show you two more that I tried on. Um, I'll put pictures in here of ones I tried on in the dressing room, which I love. One was the black coat that I recommended in my first video. It comes in four colors if you don't have a nice black coat or a tan. I think it comes in black, tan, red, and navy. That's a gorgeous coat. If it's true to size, it's almost identical to one I already own. Um, so obviously I didn't need it, but I wanted to try it on because it's a great coat. Um, there is also the plaid one. That one's an oversized fit. Um, so it does run big, but that's just the fit of the coat. Like the style of it is supposed to be bigger. I tried on, I think it runs like extra small, small was the way the tag. It definitely was pretty in person. I loved the colors. It was a fun coat. It really made me want to buy it, but I wasn't sure how much use I would get and being the plaid. But if you're someone that lives somewhere where it's really cold and you wear coats a lot, I just think that's a fun one, again, to dress up a very plain outfit. But it is a different style, so it's an oversized look. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about those coats. 
All right, this sweater I also shared on Instagram because it was a dressing room try on. It was one of those in, per in person. I just thought, you know what, that looks really pretty. Let me try that on. I definitely did not have intentions of buying this when I looked at um, online at first. It just was like, nah, it's okay. But it's really soft and I actually think it looks pretty good on and I would get use out of it. Uh, I tried it on with those black faded denim in the dressing room. Again, I'll pop that picture in here. I'm wearing a small, it does have two little pockets here. I could have probably sized down to the extra small because I do have the sleeves rolled, but I think it feels fine still. I don't feel like it looks too sloppy because you know, cardigans can kind of look that way. So it does run a little big, but if that helps you, I am wearing a small, that's the normal size I would wear, but um, it is a little big. So just depending on how you want it to fit. So you can see here, I don't think again, it looks like too oversized, but that's kind of the way it looks. But again, keep in mind, I do have the sleeves rolled. So this one was really pretty. Again, a fun surprise that I purchased in store. All right, so we're talking about another pair of boots. I did roll the jeans up another time to see what they look like with this, but I thought they looked ridiculous. So that's definitely a tip. When you're trying on boots or booties, try them on with jeans that you would probably wear with them to see what they look like. Um, I think these look okay like this, but you can see the ones scrunched up there. I don't love jeans tucked into boots, so I'm not sure how these are going to work, honestly. But I wanted to try something with a little bit lower heel. I just, I don't know if the other ones with the pointed toe and the heel, if they would look too dressy. If I wanted something, you know, a little more casual. I did order these in both the black and this color. You know, because I felt like last year I needed a pair of black low boots. But I'm not sure. I mean, I do like the looks of them. And I do like that they're slightly more casual, I guess. These are my true size, by the way. So this is a closer look. But see what I mean with the jeans, like how wonky? I don't know, but they looked stupid <laughs> cuffed another time. It literally looked like I had, like, no, um, no space between my knee and my ankle so and these aren't very tall either but you know a little bit taller in the front but i like the lower heel so i'm not sure about these actually i like them and they're comfortable i just don't know which i do like the cutout of the vince camuto um it's funny the lady helping me in store because i bought them in store she's like yeah that one's just a sexier shoe and i was like i agree because i tried on the mark fisher as well and the Mark Fisher is one of those you have to pull on. There's no zip, um, like where these have a zip and the Vince Camuto have a zip. Um, so that's something to keep in mind too. The Mark Fisher, I love the look, but they're kind of just a pain. So anyway, let me try on the black and show you those. All right, so here's the black. And what I was kind of thinking is I'd probably get the Vince Camuto in that color and these in the black. So what do you think of the black? And I think the jeans rolled up like this is like throwing me off. But a lot of jeans I realize are lighter on the other end. These um, are just really light because of that material that they are. They're very thin. So to me, they're almost like a pant, not really a jean or more like a jegging, I guess would be good. So let me show you these up close too. And again, these are my true size seven. If you wanted to, I don't have any socks on. I would size up a half if you're gonna wear socks. I debated doing that. But sometimes even with socks, then boots end up getting too big on me. So this shows you what they look like on, what they would look like with, you know, a dark jean. They are comfortable. I do like them as far as comfort and where they hit you on the ankle and all that. I don't know, I'm just not a big booty wearing person. That always sounds funny. I can't stand the word booty. I wish, I don't know what else to call them. That's what they're called. But I don't know. I just don't think they look that great on me. It's not totally my style is like ankle boots um, of a certain type, unless they're with like a dress, then I like them. But with jeans and stuff, I just feel like it's never really my style, but yet they keep your feet warm. <laughs> you know, a lot of times flats or something just don't keep your feet warm. So there are times I feel like I need them. So Anyway, here's the black and we'll move on. I do have one more pair of jeans and a top to show you, but I want to talk about this um, before 
beforehand. My store actually had a huge selection of Barefoot Dreams blankets in all the kinds. I don't know if that's everywhere, but last year I know when I went, they didn't have very many in store. This year they had a ton and they had them in several different locations. So I ended up getting this one. This one is one that I recommended too. I recommended the animal print that you see everybody get and I thought about getting that one, but um, ultimately, I just, ultimately I decided to get this one and it's a little bit cheaper. Still ridiculous, but cheaper. But this one is a little bit thinner, but as far as soft wise, I actually thought this one felt softer than the regular in the wild print that you see everybody getting. It comes in like four or five different colors now. And this color, I think it's called stone. Um, so it's still cozy, which is what I wanted. I didn't necessarily need a super thick blanket with that. So when it came down to it and saving a little bit of money, this gave me what I wanted. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know, if you do have access to a store, be sure to check them out because mine had a lot, uh, way more than last year. And this is the, this is the one I ended up going with out of all of them. All right, so we gotta show the fails in life, you know, what would it be without that? So this top isn't even zipped in the back. I wanted the black and the cream in this. I had shared this, I believe, in my what to buy video. You can see it's like straining on my hips here. This is a size small. I went by the size guide thinking that's what I need. Um, the sleeves though are huge. You can see how long they are but I thought this would be perfect for holiday. This is a no-go. Like literally, I don't even have it zipped. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, see it hanging open? The zip starts all the way down here and goes all the way up to the neck. So it'd be one maybe a little hard to get into by yourself anyway. But yeah, this one runs small, I would say. I can zip it and it's it'd be just fine. I just didn't bother because I don't like the way it fits around my hips. Um, so this is me holding it together like where it would be, but I mean this part is ridiculous and a lot of it is this lining. You know when shirts have lining like this sometimes they just don't give and yes I have much bigger hips than my waist ratio, but that's what a lot of it is is when things like that just don't give. So anyway, this is a big fail. <laughs> All right, I wanted to show you these jeans. I don't love the length on me. Of course, everything cropped when these say cropped. They are probably cropped on somebody 5'8 or 5'9. I always have trouble with that, um, even if I had them on heels. I'll show you that in a second, but I put on flats so you could see. And these are, did I say they're seven for all mankind? They're very stretchy, they're nice, they're fairly high-waisted, like my belly button's right here, so it goes kind of right to my belly button, but it feels really nice. They don't feel too high, because I'm short-waisted, so I can't have anything, like a lot of those real high-waisted denim, they don't work on me. So, I mean, they're nice, this is what it looks like in the back, but they look cuter online. Like, she has them online with like those Mark Fisher booties, which go up high, and there's still a ton of ankle room on her. But yeah, these, I mean, they feel amazing. But another pet peeve of mine with denim, and I hope you guys notice this, because I feel like it will make you look like you have a tummy, even if you don't. See how the difference right here? I don't like when denim stops way up high. I mean, I've seen some girls with denim, like the zip, you know, this big. And you have this huge gap right here. And that is so unflattering. You want this to be as long as possible. Or it just, it literally makes you look like you have... A tummy even if you don't like it just it draws your attention there in the worst way so that's another reason why I'm not gonna keep these even if I don't know maybe I would keep them if that went longer the inseam the zip basic it's not even the inseam um, the zip went longer so something to keep in mind to me I noticed that right away but the denim itself is so nice and so stretchy like they feel like pajamas almost I mean Super, super nice, but these are very unflattering length. I will try them on with some booties just so you can see what that looks like though. In case you're taller than me and you wanna get these, um, they were regular 198 and I think they're 129 in the sale because you know, sevens are always pretty expensive. But if you have hips, speaking of that, uh, you're somebody like me that maybe you have a small waist, you have hips, hourglass figure, seven for all mankind, 
usually work really well. Oh, I want to love these. They are so comfortable. I cannot even explain to you how stretchy and comfortable they are. God, they just feel, even in the waist, the waist feels like absolutely perfection. Like, oh my God. Now I'm like, I don't know. I still can't quit looking at this hair. Like it literally makes me feel like, and I probably do have a little bit of a pooch because I'm like, probably a week out from that time of the month, but I mean, I just feel like that's all I keep looking at. But anyway, here's what it looks like with booties. And you can see, they still kind of look ridiculous on me. Now with a pair of heels, it actually might look okay. I feel like this is just doing nothing for me. And my legs are the longest part of my whole body. <laughs> so it's actually making my legs look short. But I am curious to see what it look like with heels. Probably because I'm trying to talk myself into them, aren't I? Anyway, let's put my shirt down and see if I wore something lower. See, that looks a little better. You know, it's not, it's not as crazy, but I am waiting on four sweaters that should be in today, but I just couldn't wait any longer. I've already been waiting like more than a week to put up this video as things like I wasn't getting a shipping notice on some things and then all of a sudden, oh, it's finally shipped. You know how it says that getting ready? Well, things should have, you know, happened before now. So four sweaters, they're very popular in the sale. Um, I'll share those on Instagram when I get them, if they work. And I think that's it. Maybe the striped t-shirt and it's still showing in the process of shipping. So who knows when I'll get that. But anyway, um, I will share again on Instagram as things roll in. I think that's the only thing I'm missing. I'm not positive. But everything I talked about will be linked below. Um, the best thing would be to do, if it's in stock, save it to your wish list. Then you can add it to your cart when the sale opens up to the public. If it's out of stock, uh, just keep looking for refresh. Because a lot of things they'll either restock or people will send them back. And things like that. So... Things do come back in stock. Not everything, it depends what you're looking for, but things do come back, I have noticed, so that's good. So I hope you guys found some good things. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what you guys purchased, if you're getting anything that I have shared either on here or Instagram. Again, I will link that original video uh, down below because it kind of gave my overall thoughts on um, the things I recommend or things I have purchased in the past. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye.